Well, it's not the sort of greeting you expect when you knock on someone's door. Jeff Halliday says he was shot at with a nail gun. He's just a madman. Present for you, Dean. I know you're in there. Jeff Halliday was trying to serve a summons when it happened. When I heard the door open, turned around, and I just saw him standing there. See? Just went through my head, I'm dead. Get the police. You're on video doing that, you <laughs> Shooting me with a nail gun. I heard a gunshot. Look, well, sounded very much like a gunshot. Kerry O'Regan was the one filming on her phone. To be honest, I started running down those stairs and I heard, I heard three more shots and they were in the wall beside me. <laughs> Dean Geeson is the one accused of firing the nail gun at Jeff. Have you got anything to say about the uh, Jeff's claims that you fired a nail gun at him? As far as I'm concerned, it's attempted murder. The police are calling it assault. I'm calling it attempted murder or intent to cause grievous bodily harm. I've just been sh shot at with, by a nail gun by Dean Geeson after trying to serve him papers. After it happened, Jeff continues to record what goes on. We're just waiting for the police to turn up. Four uniformed police arrive to arrest Dean Geeson. Hey, this is the police. Come outside. Do it now. Police now going upstairs, armed. Guns out. <laughs> Mrs. Geeson has been dragged away. She's still screaming. You We're going to pop in right now to pay me yeah. the money. Now, where's my f***ing boat? Seven oh, days to now. pay that. Dean Excuse me, that is a court order. Last time we saw Dean Geeson, he was being confronted by two of his victims. Christian says he paid Dean to renovate his vintage boat and never saw the boat again. Right. Where is his boat? Where, where, where's Hang his on boat? A second. Who took his boat? No one's taken his boat. I just want my Give boat. Me the card code. I don't want to worry about the 15 grand I gave you. Get. You gave me 15 grand. Don't you lie. Listen. You lie. As a result of our story, Christian's boat was located and returned to him. But Jeff is still waiting for Mr. Geeson to obey a court order and pay him $120,000 the damage the unlicensed builder did to Jeff's house. You owe me $120,275. This court order says otherwise. That's why Jeff was knocking on Mr. Geeson's door with a summons and got greeted with a nasty surprise. <laughs> Police finally arrest Mr. Geeson and he's charged with common assault. I fear for my life. My life is destroyed. My lifelong dream was to have an old beach shack on the Gold Coast, move up here and have a simple life. Now I live in fear. I can't live in my own house. When we catch up with Mr Geeson at court, a friend of his tries to defend him. Yeah, he's only got little kids. Mm. So why are you going to stuff around with a bloke's life like that? He's not the father of the year, is he? Well, I'm, no, I'm not going to say that he is. <laughs> but even still, you know, you've got to let the bloke have a, you know, get on with his freaking life. And when he appears, Mr. Geeson has nothing to say. You've got an assault charge against you. Have you anything to say to Jeff now? You haven't paid him back the $120,000 you owe him. And Jeff is taking Dean Geeson back to court next week to enforce payment of the money he is still owed.